After this interesting conversation with Nino, let me start the lesson by defining what a software architecture is. And to do that, I'm going to use two seminal definitions. The first one is from Dwayne Perry and Alex Wolf. And they define a software architecture as elements, form, and rationale. In this definition, the elements are the what, which means the processes, data, and connectors that compose a software architecture. The form is the how, the set of properties of and relationships among these elements. And finally, the rationale is the why, the justification for the elements and their relationships. The second definition I want to use is from Mary Shaw and David Garland, and they define a software architecture as the level of design that involves four main things. A description of elements from which the systems are built, the interactions among those elements, the patterns that guide their composition, and finally, the constraints on these patterns. As you can see, these definitions are fairly similar, and there are many more alternative definitions of software architecture. In fact, if we try to search the term software architecture, we get over 2 million entries. And if we look at the images in the results of this search, this is what we get. And I like this sort of graphical depiction because it gives you a clear idea that software architecture are a prevalent concept, given the number of results. But they also show you clearly that software architecture are complex entities, if you look at some of these pictures. And ultimately, they show that software architecture are presented in all kinds of ways, including in 3D, if we look at this picture. We cannot clearly cover all of these definitions in one lesson. So what I will do instead is to introduce a very general definition that encompasses most of the existing ones. 